Welcome to the Reservees Podcast, brought to you in part by BossAction.com. Right now there is a promo for $3 per head for three weeks. If you go check them out right now at BossAction.com, you'll find that promo is a premium promo and it gives you everything on the play that they offer. You get to try it for a full three weeks at $3 per head. Let's get on with the Red Show. What's going on guys, how are you? It's Red. Um, it's that time of the week. So we're going to record this and we're going to talk about some of the stuff, right? We're going to talk about some of the uh, the NBA playoffs, which uh, are actually, like I had predicted, kind of sh- way different than uh, than anticipated. So, I mean, first round, no LeBron, right? This is the first time in 10 years we haven't had a LeBron and a Curry in, in the playoffs. So, or at least in the second round, right? Um, that being said, there's still a lot of room for um, some interesting stuff. The Sixers are doing good. And I'm actually pretty impressed with uh, with the Nets and, and KD. Um, KD is playing beyond where he's he's ever been able to. I think his experience over the time in the, in the last years with other teams that have, have forced him to become better, right? Because he was on teams that necessarily did not. Um, I mean, when he was on the Warriors, right? It was it was a little it was like basically cakewalk, but after that transferring out of there and going somewhere else has made it so that he had to play at a different level. So I think, uh, I think this is going to be <clears throat> one of those years that you look at and yes, the Nets are a super team. We're not going to, we're not going to kid about that. The Nets are a super team, but, uh, with him playing at, at the level that he is, I think that it makes them a very much grinder super team, which is a very different thing than just some people that have really good stats. Right. So, um, I think I think you know as far as whatever I'm doing on my side of it, it's it's always going to be a, a match on how much I have. I've had a really good year overall when it comes to particular bad beats or games that I feel like maybe were too easy and, and my players were taken advantage of. I haven't had too many this year necessarily where that's been the case, just because it's been very balanced in most most of the sporting events. Um, I, I mean. You obviously look back at at what Tampa Bay did, right? But that's that's because it's the it's the Brady effect, and <laughs> it is what it is, right? Uh, there's not a lot we can do about that. But I'm looking forward to very much the the continuation of the baseball season and and the way that the things are going right now in the business. Um, as as mentioned previously in another in another podcast, we are, are looking at getting a new reporting that is ultra efficient. And very well made and designed from our perspective, meaning the bookie perspective, not from the perspective of a software that was designed. It was like an accounting software that was kind of morphed into a, a bookie software. So, as it stands, it's I'm looking forward to, it, and I've actually seen it a couple of times now, and, and it looks a lot different, and it and it feels a lot easier. It took me a little while to learn the current reporting, but I mean, obviously, once you learn something, you're good at it, and in this case, I picked this up and was able to do and use this uh, pretty rapidly. So I and I and I was told that it was supposed to be released completely uh, like July, August, or at least before the new season starts. Um, and I'm and I'm pretty excited about it. And I also got wind that there's going to be some changes to like the cashiers and different things. Like, I mean, it's not it's not really stuff that you would focus on if you're you're somebody like me. But at the same time, making my life easier is, is always going to be something that I'm appreciative of. I think that when things come in and it's, it's one of those, those types that you're like, hey, thank you for uh, changing this, even though I didn't really notice how bad it was. Um, so again, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of good things coming down the pipeline as far as what my capabilities as a book are with this company in particular. And, and that's the, you know, it's the exciting part. Because it's not it's not all the time that you end up somewhere or you're in a, a place that continues to try and push the envelope or try to change the the user user interface or ability to do things or increase anything really. I mean a lot of a lot of the places that, that at least the sites that I was at before haven't changed anything or done anything to improve in, in several years, which is, you know, based on their business model, I guess that, that works. But for you know a guy like me who's always on the go and always trying to do stuff, I think it's very important 
to see the, the same kind of minds working in the same kind of business. And when I, when I do get the actual release of this, whatever that the, isn't the demo, I'm, I'm probably gonna screencast a little bit just to show maybe a couple of minutes of, of whatever I'm doing on the reporting and, and we'll use that. Um, and that way you guys can see a little bit of it instead of it just being the talking head that you normally see on the show. So I, there's a few things that I wanted to talk about. I hope you have gas in your tank now. Um, there's been a, a slew of attacks, uh, cyber attacks, right, across the board, like the meat companies and produce companies and the pipeline attack, and also apparently there's a new one that was done on some of the major gaming labels, and I'm not talking about like on the, the gambling side, but in like esports side. Um, this this story just broke recently, and it, and it just has to do with EA Sports, and they're, they're releasing FIFA 2021, which is, everybody knows will be FIFA 2020 through 2015, again, but just with different players and colors. It's the same game, again, which is basically soccer in a nutshell anyway, but it's a major deal because they also got access to matchmaking. They also got access to a couple of things that are highly sensitive when the company is trying to develop and maintain market share. And so you look at this in the esports arena, and I think that this is actually going to become a major, a major thing in the future because you look at cybersecurity in general. And I know on our side of it, we're used to having to have things encrypted, and used to having to have some, you know, some kind of security or at least ghosting effect of what we are who we are as as our industry goes and so that's not that that new but in all of these major companies that are starting to come up and make a lot of money in the in that in the esports arena um it's it's going to change how much they try to take care of their their company integrity at least as far as security goes and and i'm watching this all occur based on the fact that uh, there's a lot of information coming out around the elections and how they also were, there's a lot of, uh, you know, the Dominion softwares and things that people have kind of just been swept under the rug and forgot about it because Biden won. And as the, as this changes and as things change, how, how are the, the people supposed to trust anything basically at this point when it comes to security and, and, you know, for our, for our side of it, everything that we've been doing for years has been, you know, at least they've told me that it's like secure and safe, and and I and I haven't seen any issues with that so far. It also could just be that, you know, this particular uh, company isn't as high profile as maybe some of the other ones. But again, they're out there, and there's people trying to always figure out how to exploit and and take advantage of certain situations. But you know, for my personal feeling, at least for my business, and and being up and having DDoS protection and all that is, is a very important thing for high high traffic times. And those times are coming very shortly. And all of the improvements that are going into this new interface are also going to be applied based on that model where there is some security features that are also added that make it better. So all that being said, um, I wanted to return back to the, the sports realm and, and talk about a couple other things too. Um, I don't know if you're really a baseball fan and, I, and I've been watching some of the ratings that are coming out right now. And it's surprising to me because the NBA was like like light years ahead of, of, of the MLB as far as ratings go for a long time. There's been a slight uptick, actually, when you compare the two of what people want to watch. And it has a lot to do with the wokeism and, and things that are in the, the NBA right now. And, and it, they've really played it down a lot this year. I think that that's a huge reason why, because they saw what happened. Their ratings, I mean, they're down like 70% uh, in the NBA. 70% of what they were at certain times in demographics. And I don't know how do you, re you recover from that without making a, a serious change on what's, what's available to watch. And I know that that means big changes for the NFL, because their ratings were also going down quite a bit. Um, just because of, you know, whatever else, people finding other interests or Netflix in general causing people to be watching the shows that they want to watch on demand. There's other other issues that go along with that. But really, you know, if you're a gambler, you're going to be gambling on sports. Like, you can't gamble on Netflix. So what, what are you supposed to do with that? But 
it, what it what it allows is is a very different type of entertainment is going to be coming out and I think it'll be a little bit more strict when it comes to what people are allowed to say how it goes I mean when you saw the whole Kaepernick thing happen in the NFL and and the guys kneeling on the on the, the field to show uh, racism you know social injustice and all these different things and, and maybe maybe he had a, a valid just cause and then this whole last year where they've been pushing this in the NBA and a lot of people have, have stopped watching. You know, it's not, we're here to watch sports. We're here to be a part of that. We're not here to figure out what you feel about yourself in, in your $100 million house. We just, we're just not. And and the, the public is speaking very clearly with that in, in the ratings themselves. And so I think when the NFL does roll around this year, there's going to be an incredible amount of attention on it. I think also, too, in the college football. This is the year of the American culture to return. I honestly feel that. I don't think that as many people realize, and, and it's because social media is washing a lot of this, that there are a lot of people fed up with big government and a lot of people fed up with regulation. And in the sense that if you're going to be looking at an American sport and an American ideal, NFL and college football are two of those things that are so vastly important to our culture and it's and it's interesting to really watch this demographic come out um so expect a big year and and i mean a big year when it comes to the amount of volume that you're going to be picking up and the amount of players that you may be able to attain because also too these kids all these these gamer kids that are out there are going to be transitioning into the gambling market within the next two years including this year a lot of the the kids that were let's say you know born 2001 2002 they're all 18 now and they're going to be turning a little bit older in college right they're going to their dorm rooms or doing their things and they're going to want to be playing sports too because their buddies are playing sports so it is what it is um i think for right now i, I want to save an entire show based on the youth gambler because i think that it's going to be one of those those particular topics that's ex- extremely important for us uh, moving forward in the next couple of years. We, as as books, can take advantage of this because there's we've had our players, right? We've had our players for years, some of us anyway, and, and they're, they know these kids or they even raise these kids. That's what's crazy. I have a guy who I've, I've known him for 20-something years, and he's he's basically going to be uh, letting his son start playing and, and doing things because his son's already interested in it. They, they, I was, I was shown this clip on YouTube of these kids, and I think that they're 18. I don't know, but they don't look like it. They look like they're about 16 years old, and they were gambling on slots online, streaming this with like 20,000 viewers, and the kid won a jackpot on a slot machine. And is like, you know, everybody in the chat, like this, that, the other. And that's important information for me, considering the fact that if these kids are all about casino-style games and, like, the bells and whistles, we all know that the casino does not pay long-term. If they're going to continue to play, you will see that. And and that's that's kind of why I'm, I'm really looking deeper into this, because, again, as a book, that demographic, the new blood, the new people, are going to be the ones that that are not so weathered and not so beaten by the, the 52% that you got to hit in the sports arena to even make a dollar or, you know, knowing that the casino is a, is a constant uh, money generator for the other side. I mean, it's, it's built for the house. It's always been built for the house. And, and in our case, we're the house. So it's, it's valid information. It's a business model I don't want to follow. So we'll touch on that next week. I hope you guys have a great one and the odds are always in your favor. Um, God bless you. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in to the Reds Reviews podcast brought to you by BossAction.com. Opinions expressed on this show are not the opinions of BossAction.com. And again, any promos or relative information about this company, please check them out at BossAction.com. And we'll see you next week. We hope you have a great one. And thank you for tuning in.